When it comes to knowing what looks best, who better than a, a member of the E! News Fashion Police to tell us what to do? George Kotsiopoulos was recently in Dallas in support of the fall line at the Gap Factory store. Our Courtney Kerr had the chance to chat with him one-on-one -on -one to find out his thoughts on fall trends. Take a look. I'm here with George Kotsiopoulos. You probably recognize this face from E!'s Fashion Police. He's here um, this weekend at the Grand Prairie Premium Outlets for a big Gap fashion show talking fall trends. Welcome to Dallas. We're so excited. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm loving the heat. I know. Are you sweating yet? <laughs> uh, not yet. Not yet. Are you sweating yet? There's yeah, fans. Come, we have fans. You've we'll come good. in the prime hot time here in Dallas, but you're talking about fall trends, yes. which is always a really exciting thing to talk about. You are doing a partnership with Gap as their... Gap Factory. Gap Factory, Gap Factory as their style ambassador. Talk to me about that partnership. Well, that just came about. I've been doing this, doing it all year year and it's an exclusively styled uh, collaboration so I pick out looks that that you know are my key looks and they're all in the stores and I'm in all these great ads and in the windows and in magazines and it's a wonderful kind of dream come true because you know I mean I grew up with the gap I've been wearing the gap for like who hasn't for, been wearing the, gap the last you know kids. several decades I'm not gonna age myself too much but uh, yeah exactly who hasn't and it's, I love it it's a great product and uh, it's, yeah, it's just one of those things that just kind of came together organically, and I'm, I'm really proud to be here. Now, you and I were talking off camera that we don't like to, you don't have to spend a lot of money on clothes. Yeah. And I think Gap Factory, that's kind of their bread and butter, is that you can look like a million bucks without spending a million bucks. Absolutely, absolutely. Do you think that's a big thing that women don't understand, is that they don't have to spend a ton of money to be on trend? I think the, the, the cool, smart women get that they don't have to do that. Right. I think that, you know, if you have any insecurities, you think, well, I have to have this name brand bag and this name brand and this name brand. And it's, you know, it's silly. You don't, you don't need to, particularly with denim. You know, right. I, I think like, there's great, like these, you know, I'm wearing, this is all Gap Factory. I mean, Gap Factory jeans are great. The fit is great. The style is great. It's always on trend. And they're really well priced. It's just, they're jeans, right. you know, and, and, and Gap is synonymous with jeans and Gap Factory does it just as well as specialty. And Gap, I feel like every year consistently, it's all about having some of those great staples in your closet, whether it's a white denim or it's a denim shirt or it's you know a great sweater or jacket, whatever. What are your key pieces that you think going into fall, which is hard to talk about fall fashion right now with it being yeah, so hot, but yeah. what are your key pieces that you're really looking well, towards this coming fall? Well, there's even variations on staples. So there's you know there's a great denim motorcycle jacket. Motorcycle jackets are not going away I mean, I have a denim soon. jacket that I've had since I was 17. Yes, exactly, and, which is great yeah. because I'm sure it's beat up and, it and loved and like a you know little security blanket but um, you know there's great varsity jackets um, joggers are still going super strong as long as you kind of dress them up with something a little bit elegant let's not be doing our jogger yes. our head-to-toe athletic look yeah we're over that's a little the bit too suit. much yeah. that's a little bit too much um, and then you know there's just really just just from, from the runway point of view really really bright colors there are all these rave prints and, and bright colors that was a big trend um, sweater dressing, lots of great knits, like head to toe dresses, pants, everything. Um, shearlings were big, and I know you need them here in Dallas. I know, because it gets so cold here in Dallas. I was here in December, and, and I it was, was freezing. 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 Freezing, yeah. So, so shearlings, so that's good. So, we, you can bone up on all of those. Now, so. what I love is that, I mean, obviously, we're here at the factory outlets, which, uh, which appeal to women, but I can't let you go without talking about men's fashion a little bit. Men sometimes don't get it right all the time. <laughs> what do you think are some of the biggest misses that men do when they go into Gap and go shopping? I think men don't realize what size they are see for a it's woman all about fit. it's all about fit and for a woman she thinks that you know well I'm a size four so she wants to be the smaller size even if she's not and she doesn't need to be by the way and with guys you it's don't okay need to, to be a, be a smaller or a medium well that's the thing like guys are like I'm a large I'm a large I'm an extra <laughs> large it's like no you're a small okay, or no, a medium the and, of your shoulder on your shirt is way down here and, like and, you need to yeah, down. and the thing is they think by getting a larger size they're manlier and it actually makes them look wimpier you look small like when if I was wearing a size large too. I would look scrawny yeah, you know what you'd I mean? look like a homeless man. Yeah, I would look, I, but I would also look emaciated, and I'm not, right. I'm buff. <laughs> so I think that's one thing. You know, the thing with men's fashion is that the trends are, are they move super slowly. Right. So we're going to be in the skinny suit, skinny denim phase for probably the next at least 10 years. You hear that, guys? That we probably will, okay. for sure. Because now, you know, the, the regular man is really embracing the tailored skinny suit. Thank goodness. Yeah, and it'll just, it'll be here for a while. It'll be here for a while. Now, Fashion Police, what a fun opportunity for you. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you, everyone asks you about it, but that experience, is that yeah. just insane? Like, do you go to work and just, y'all look like you have so much fun. We do, we do. And it's funny um, because Joan is always saying how wonderful it is that we all love each other. 
you know, this is my first show like this, and we all do love each other. We all get along, and I guess that's not the truth on, on many shows. Right. Many people just, they don't get along. I work with four women. I understand how that goes. <laughs> We totally get along. We have a blast. I love Joan. She's wonderful. She's super kind, super sweet, contrary to what you know people may think. And you know, Juliana and Kelly. They're great. I mean, we have a blast. I can't wait to see them. You know, if, if Juliana misses an episode, it's like, you know, it's forever that we're going to see her, and I always miss her. And then, you know, we do our live on the red carpets together, so me, Juliana, and Kelly do that, and we have a blast. Do it's you ever fun. Feel... It's a really wonderful, cool opportunity that changed my life. and uh, It really did. It's kind of crazy, so it's Now, great. do you ever feel, I mean, as a, as a blogger myself, um, I, I sometimes feel bad criticizing people's fashion or saying like maybe you shouldn't wear this this way do you ever feel bad on fashion police when you're like no that's really hideous you look absolutely horrible uh, like how do you no, how do you say that with some charm well, and some some think, suave you know what I always say is like any you know any idiot really any person can say oh that looks horrible like anybody can say yeah. that but if you have to back it up with that doesn't look that's not flattering on you here is why it's not XYZ. flattering on you and here's a solution so if you're gonna you know address a problem give a solution otherwise any anyone can do that and that's what sets me apart from the rest <laughs> <laughs> well you're gonna stick around for one more so segment. I don't feel bad about okay, it okay okay good I'm glad <laughs> Stand by it. You're going to stick around with us for one more segment, okay, right? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. George is going to join us in a little bit, so stay tuned.